Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the DIY, DIY Challenge. We were inspired by this cool threaded chain bracelet by Aurelier Biederman, which we pinned to our Pinterest page. It retails for $750. For this challenge, we must use $35 or less to make our own threaded chain bracelet. You will need a chain, thread or leather rope, pliers, wire cutters, a ruler, two jump rings, and a clasp. Step one, choose your materials. For this, you can use leather or thread. I'm going to use thread. And I'm using leather. I'm going with this salmon color and mint, because you know I'm obsessed with mint. I'm using this navy and cream for a nautical look. That is so cute. I love the nautical look. I'm using a matted brass chain. I'm going to go with a shiny chrome looking chain. Step two, measure and cut chain. Loop the chain around your wrist twice to measure your desired length. So I want it to be a little bit loose and we're gonna have the clasp in there as well. So I think I'm gonna do mine right about here. And you can see that the link has a little hole in it. That's the best place to make the cut. So I'm gonna snip that with my wire cutters and then I'm gonna use my pliers to open it up and slip off that link. There we go. Step three, measure leather or thread. I'm gonna start just by measuring my chain. So it's about 15 inches. My first piece of thread, we want this one to be double the length of the chain. It's 12, 15, then I'm just gonna double that and add a few inches for my knots. I'm not going to be using a ruler, so if you don't have one, you don't have to have one for this project. I'm just going to lay my leather out the length of the chain and then just fold that over one more time and add a little bit of length for a knot. And just cut that. For the second piece of thread, this is gonna be the one that you wrap the outside with. This one you want it to be about three times the length of your chain. Double it, triple it, and add a few extra inches for safety. If you're using thread, you should tie the thread at the end so it's easier to pull through the chain. Next, I'm going to take my cream leather and my chain, the links are smaller, so I'm going to have to wrap that a few more times. So I'm going to do my second piece four times the length of my chain. And I'm going to add just a little extra length there just in case. Step four, loop. Loop the leather or thread through the end of the chain and tie a knot. It should be exactly in the middle. Remember to start with your shorter piece that we doubled in size and tie that one first. That's going to go down both sides. Step five, thread and wrap. Since the salmon is going to be my centerpiece color and this is my wrap color, I'm gonna begin wrapping by holding the salmon colored thread at the side and bringing the green thread around through each loop through the center and then pulling it out. And I'm taking my cream leather and if you're worried about this slipping through and not staying even, you can just go ahead and tie that in a knot as well. And my blue leather is going to lay flat against my chain. And I'm going to take my cream leather and just loop that through. Step six, repeat on the other side. You know what, Kaylee? Actually, looking at my bracelet, I think I like it just on one side. I do too. That looks so cute. It's kind of like our inspiration bracelet. So if you wanted to do your bracelet just on one side, you would actually only need to cut your first thread to the length of your bracelet with a little bit extra for tying a knot and your second thread to double the length of your bracelet. Okay, perfect. I love that. And I'm going to just repeat the same step on the other side. I'm just going to hold this blue leather next to the chain and just continue threading the white. Step seven, knot. Once you're finished with both sides, take two leather strands on one side and knot. Then take two leather strands from the other side and knot. Then you'll double knot. Since I only did one side of my bracelet, I am just gonna tie mine in a knot. I guess I'll do a double knot just to make sure it's really secure. And then I'm gonna cut off the ends. Step eight, add jump rings and clasp. 
my jump rings open easily so I don't need to cut them. And then right here at the top where we have our knots, just kind of open that up to find the link. And then add your clasp to the jump ring. And we are finished! I love them so much. These are really fun to make and super simple. I really like the leather though. I think it makes it extra classy. It does, I think so too. But I love this look because I think it looks so girly and cute. My bracelet costs $23.90 to make. My bracelet costs $11.95 to make. And I really love these for layering. Yeah, you could wear a whole bunch of them in a few mm -hmm. different colors. Subscribe to The Mom's View so you can see all of our DIY projects as soon as they come out. And if you have an expensive project you want to see us make for less, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye. Bye. And it's actually OK to go more than 20 minutes or like a few hours or even mm -hmm. overnight and then do another call with me. Look at our purses. We are finished and they are so cute. I love them. I love yours with the two-tone and the triangle shape. It's really fun and I love that there's a pop of glitter on the front and then a pop of pink on the back. That's so cute. So fun.